Good afternoon everyone. It's Friday afternoon and I'm over in the reseeding now. Uh, just putting out our fertilizer on it. I've got the, the GoPro head mount. So I'm just holding I'm holding the suction the uh, the suction holder I have for it. I uh, just hold it in my hand just as I'm going around. Um, yeah, I'm putting on 300 kilos, or just over 300 kilos of 10, 10, 20 per hecto on the on the reseeding to go along with the, the slurry. So I'm just doing the, the opening round round the headlands. Um, have the have the spreader set up and uh, using the GPS as well. So we shouldn't be shouldn't be too far away with our race. Um, yeah, it's about four tons altogether that of fertilizer that we're going to be putting on this. It's just over twelve acres. So uh, yesterday evening, uh, after a fantastic day of trying all day yesterday, I give this one more run, and it broke down more of those wet clumps of clay that we had. Um, so they're few and far between now. It looks looks very good now. The I have to say, considering like it hasn't been ploughed, uh, I'd be very happy with how it's how it's turned out. Um, so the plan is now if we get this fertilizer spread today, and uh, Ben is on his way over. He's going to do an hour at the rolling of it. We're going to roll it first before the grass seed is sown, and it just to. Uh, Kind of give it a level, a level seed bed. Um, so we're going to have to roll it now. Uh, when the grass seed is sown, then we'll roll it uh, again, just to, just to, 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 to flatten it all out after it, it breaks it up. Um, see a few small bits of stones and a few places throughout it. So I'll uh, maybe just go around and pick them up as Ben's doing some of the rolling once I have the fertilizer uh, spread. Not many, there's only maybe a dozen or so. But uh, yeah, no, very happy with how it's going so far. I don't know whether it's going to be sown uh, today with the grass seed or whether it will be on um, tomorrow, Saturday. Uh, I hope it might be sown this evening and I might get a little bit of footage of it. Otherwise, if it goes to until Saturday, I won't be here to get the footage of it because we're uh, we've we've got about 13 acres to plough for a neighbour of ours, so I won't be around when the, the seed is actually sown on it. So we'll just have to see how that works out. Um, yeah, I had a fantastic day today. It's still a little overcast today, but still dry. Uh, very very humid, very warm. Uh, so the the grass growth will be very good. Uh, our silage crops are coming on very well, which is great. Um, I would put a date at this stage for the second week in June for cutting our silage. It's going to be a little later than usual uh, because of the poor grass growth, but still not too bad. It's recovered fairly well the last couple of weeks uh, with the way the weather has become, become a lot milder. There's been a lot of compensatory growth and crops overall have done very well in the last few weeks. So uh, I thought it would be towards the end of June when we'd be cutting, but at the minute I'd put a date of, of mid-June. Um, but uh, if it continues to do very well, maybe it might be a little earlier than that. So we'll just have to see. It's going to be about three weeks time, two to three weeks time before we get a cut.
second round now, finishing off the last few bits uh, on the headlands. Uh, there's a few tails that I, I was just picking up on the on the way around. Um, yeah, it was Ben that done most of the rolling. I spread the fertilizer up, and uh, yeah, Ben had to go early, so I just finished off. What was that? So yeah, I'm on the last the last run now, so I'll be finished in a few minutes. Yeah, it's, it's in good shape now, it's nice and level for nice and level now for the, the seeder to come in and get the grass seed on. Um, still no word whether it's going to be done this evening or in the morning, so we'll just have to just have to wait it out. We're waiting on a phone call, so we'll know, know in a little bit. It's just after four now, it's about four, twenty past four. Um, so we'll see if it, if it happens. If he happens to come this evening, I'd uh, roll it again tonight and just have it finished with. Uh, one of the things with uh, you know with the disc is there's no land leveling or anything needed, so the the ground really stays fairly level. Uh, there might be a few little humps and bumps in places, but nothing nothing like it would be after you plow it. Uh, it should settle back down fairly quickly, I'd imagine. Now, I think there's really just a little, there's one more little piece behind me I just have to pick up. And that should be about us. Double check round here. Yeah, no, that's... That, that's all done though. So yeah, I'll try and take a little bit of footage maybe tomorrow when when we're ploughing the, the lay ground. Um, yeah, like I said, I've gone over there to we can plow plow around twelve or thirteen acres tomorrow, so um, shouldn't take too long. We'll take the two ploughs and two tractors over with us and we'll get through it fairly quickly. Yeah, that's about it. I've seen a, a stone down here folder. I'm just going to go down and left it. That's me finished rolling. So we've it all ready now for the cedar. Uh, it's one of those um, spring time seeders that'll be coming to do it. Uh, it's, the grass seed will be delivered through, oh, it's, a, it's an air pipe system that's on it. That, that's how it delivers the seed down to the down to the ground. So, um, yeah, the tines tickle along on top of the ground and they'll mark the ground again. So that's, that's why it'll require a rolling again at the end. So, um, yeah, it's just a matter of waiting now for the seeder to come. Um, like I said, if it comes this evening, I'll get some footage of it. If it doesn't come tomorrow, chances are I'm not going to get any footage of that because I'm, I'm uh, way ploughing tomorrow. So, just have to see how that works out. Uh, but uh, as you can see, like it's a lovely flat level seed bed now that it has to work in. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see how it all how it all plays out and how it grows. Uh, we're used to ploughing it and labouring the ground that way, so it's, it's all new. Um, but yeah, that's it. A uh, few stones to lift here. I'm going to do that now and get finished with. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.